This is a great chance to see if you have what it takes. Sure, everybody's got what they think is a built rig, but can it really stay together? It's brutal out there, way more than most people think. Most people will run one of these trails in a day, maybe two. We're, we're running all of them, against the clock, against yourself, against the terrain. So the goal of this particular pre-run was to give people with street legal Jeeps the ability to come out here and test their vehicle and their driving skills. This year's Real Hammers experience, we decided to run the OG 13 course. If you're not familiar with this, this starts off in the middle of Means Dry Lake Bed. And the way this is set up is that there's many paths from the start to get out to Outer Limits. So you can choose any path you want across the desert. You just pick what you know, pick what you end up on, pick however it leads you, and get out to Outer Limits. Now the reality is, it's a whole bunch of desert, okay? So you've got about uh, 15 miles of pretty rough desert to get out there. You come to a sharp right turn as you enter Outer Limits, and this is important, because now you've been going 100. Now you need to check it up a little bit, slow down, don't hit something as you're coming up the sand wash into the canyon. And then Outer Limits is the real deal. This is a big boy trail. Then you're gonna come into the top of Aftershock and run it backwards down. Lots of big rocks. If you make it through there, you're going to rip along the side of the mountain and up another sand wash over Devil's Slide and Hell's Gate. You're gonna drop down Sunbonnet, which is technically the, the, the backwards way. Sunbonnet was tore up and it had some giant holes. Once you get through there, you're going to again, get on uh, some desert paths to lead you all the way back around Fisher Mountain. So this, is a, this can be a fun area. It's got a combination of packed rock and desert. Um, the last section is really sandy. It's got some whoops and stuff in it, but you can go pretty quick across here as it wraps around the mountain. And uh, this is gonna take you the back way up Fisher Mountain and over to the mailbox. Once you're at the mailbox, you're gonna turn left and you're going to drop down Sledgehammer Canyon. This canyon is really tore up. There are rocks in places that have never been. Jackhammer also um, hasn't gotten any easier over the years. This climbs in altitude quite quickly and uh, you need four wheel drive here. This is, this is a, um, a good trail. It's one of the original hammer trails, both Sledge and Jack, it's the real deal. You uh, come across the top, you drop to the left into Wrecking Ball. Again, another big boy trail, you know, so just one after another. Once you come up out of the top of that, there's a small canyon that you rip across. It drops you into the top of Claw Hammer. This is the last trail you need to do. So if you can get through here clean, without any flats, without any mechanicals, you know, anything running hot, overflowing, whatever, um, you're gonna end up down at what we call Sand Hill 2. So from here, it is open desert. So you can, you can shoot across over to um, one of the big main roads, or you can cut across the dune and uh, whip around and all the way back across the desert. But your goal is to get back to the lake bed right where you're Some are going for the sprint, some are going for the marathon, and I can tell you it's all about pacing yourself and keeping your feet together.
This is a close group of my regular Wheeland friends, uh, which includes a few customers. And these are well-built Jeeps. But the main thing is, is it's, it's the same camaraderie we would have if we were to go out wheeling on any weekend. Just in this case, we actually start the clock when you take off and there's no stopping to take a leak or eat a sandwich. You, you've got all your safety gear on and you're, you're simulating, you're pre-running just like we would for the real KOH race. Squad's looking uh, determined. I like events like this because uh, you know, all these racers they get in a groove and they figure out how to control themselves. But you know all these younger cats that don't have much experience. It's pretty rad to uh... <laughs> they get out there and just throw down, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rad to see the uh, you know the real everyman come out here and give it a try. You ready to go, man? Yeah. Yeah. Think now I am. Uh, well, we didn't get to pre-run all we wanted yesterday because uh, the first trail was way different than it had ever been before. Yeah, it's the same old Hammers trails. You got it could have moved around last night anyway, so who knows? But we're good. We got zero problems. Michael, are you gonna rescue Jamie out of some? Rock Hopefully today? not. You gonna get him unstuck? Hopefully not. We didn't have to yesterday pre-running, so. So Jamie's a wheel man. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. But I hear you were working on the car a little bit last night. Yeah. Yesterday we uh, we ripped out a uh, a link, um, got that fixed up, and then just basically went through the whole thing and got a couple of things need to be welded and uh, yeah. So this time we did two cars every minute. and uh, we had another steering issue, a hose just ripped out of its fitting. Uh, we were plagued with steering issues yesterday, the same hoses. Uh, we thought we got them up and out of the way, but maybe we did too good of a job and uh, made them too tight. So, uh, so yeah, so now we gotta do more hydro line repairs and right here in Outer Limits.
happened, man. Base, we're gonna need a grinder. Uh, a with big a grinder rock wheel, happened. Not a flat wheel, a grinder <laughs> wheel. <laughs> Jeff made it through here pretty clean? Yeah, Yeah. real clean, yeah. The same line I'm on, or did he say hi? I think he, uh, you know, I was over on that side, he so said, I was, stay. good luck, guys. Okay. We broke a front new joint and I walked down to the pit to get parts. Meantime, Jamie caught up to me and he worked his way around me on the obstacle, which is right there before the plaque line. This is a great example of risk and reward, right? Jamie could have rolled it, he could have gotten a flat, he could have otherwise damaged the vehicle somehow. Since he pulled it off, that put him hours ahead of the rest of us. And I was super stoked that when I got back up there, he had gotten by me. And uh, he, he still wasn't out of the woods. He was you know, completely hung up on some other rocks that were there. But he was clearly by me and in first place, which was pretty darn cool to see. After we fixed the Jeep, I was all about, I needed to close that gap. I, I needed to chase Jamie to the end. In the meantime, you know, Jamie heads up Jack, knowing he's got nobody on his tail. We're all jammed up there in Sledgehammer. He can now pick the best line, pick a pace that he knows he won't get a flat, your wall damages deep and just keep plugging along. This, this is a tough trail. It's a, it's a hammer's trail. So you need to drive clean. You need to drive smart. Um, a lot of these are kind of a one-shot situation. You know, you got to line up and go for it and carry a little momentum to bop you through there. All of the drivers that participated in this get such a great feeling of accomplishment just to get back to the finish line. It, it is. This is a massive undertaking. You know, the fastest guy's doing it in a little over three hours and the slowest guy's doing it in about eight. It's, it's a long day. You're in there. It, it feels like a cage fight. You know, you're just going, 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 and it doesn't stop. And uh, you're trying to keep your mentality together, you're trying to keep your vehicle together. It's, uh, it's quite a personal quest to do something like this.
Jamie is now the two-time champ, and talk about consistency, he was only a minute apart in his time from the two different runs. How was it? Uh, other than the break, it was great. seemed like it went by so fast today and we had so much ahead of us but we went through so much of that with so many people it seemed like everybody kind of cruised through and I think that like me mentally that kind of pushed us through it you know because as a first we didn't even get to pre-run we had no idea where we were we got lost multiple times yeah the, we had a cheap GPS on my phone like I'm just holding in my hand and it's spinning it like where we need it to work what a great day it was you know we got the the Jeep cast Jeep out although going into outer limits we made that Sharp, there's a sharp right turn out there and I'm literally driving one hand I'm holding my hand up to try to like be able to see and he's like that turns coming up that turns coming up I'm like I don't see it I don't see it where is it and then boom it was right there I hit a rut and like two wheels came off the ground he says and, two I say we had one touching Today was an awesome day. My Jeep didn't have a motor on Monday. We swapped it, me and him, yeah. we swapped this engine like the day before we came here. What experience, man. That was hell right, bro. That was good ride. Yeah. Good ride, good ride. The ride of my life, I can say that, bro. In off-road, the ride of my life. Yeah, we really, uh, we like to get stuck in front of the camera yeah. and uh, and break stuff. Anytime there was a camera around, we either got stuck yeah, or almost rolled it. Yeah. So, yeah. We did keep it on all four. Well, we well, we <laughs> we did we did go up on 3 at one point. Being the question on the table was how did the day go? How do we answer that? The day was probably the most exciting day that I've had in a very long time. That's a good way of putting it. Did we finish? No. We got out to a really good start, and uh, we, start. Pa we passed Tony in Outer Limits, and uh, we were in the running up front, and then we ended up mixing up with Tony for a while, and uh, that's probably the most fun I've ever had wheeling. Well, yeah, it was a good day. We had, we had one one minor issue. Um, my my father, Tony, uh, driving Terramoto, actually got into sledgehammer and me and Cole pull up and his Jeep's just sitting there. We're like, look, what's going on? In the middle of the trail. Yeah, much. like in, yeah, blocking most of the trail. So we get out and uh, he's not even there. Like him, his co-driver, not there. So we're like, okay, we gotta figure this out. So we ended up like putting one tire, what, like seven feet up on the wall and for, running over for a while. A we were. Window. We had one wheel in the air uh, for a while, and I swear I could have walked under it. It was that high in the air. And then the other one was like on the top of the back of Terramoto. There, there's tire marks on the wrap right now. <laughs> I'm Chris Locke, and I'm from Grapevine, Texas. This is Aaron Smith of Smith Off-Road Performance in Dallas. He's my builder and also my co-dog and, uh, you know, my off-road mentor. We kind of started out, you know, fairly, I was fairly smooth. Yeah, smooth. Yeah, we had a great pace of running. As soon as we got into the hard stuff, it was outer, trail outer limits. That's when things got a little a little hairy. Yeah, but the first thing that happens, we blew an oil line and the oil flying everywhere. Oil, we, probably, I don't, we, don't, we still don't know how much oil we lost, but it, it, it was probably, you know, two or three quarts at least. Then the problem started. Yeah. And yeah. the problem, so it was just the oil line. That's like no, no that we fixed that. We fixed the oil line. This was the little major. It, we, it was a uh, track bar bracket, so it's a bracket that basically allows your axle to stay under the Jeep. So this year was a little bit different format. We didn't do the land rush. We did two every minute. It was great. The, the timing was perfect. The, you could still see dust, but you weren't in the dust. 
and uh, that was quite a bit safer and more fun and uh, got our way into Outer Limits pretty cleanly and then it really kind of became the battle with Jeff. Oh, he, so, he's, he was fast. He was fast. He, yeah. he was definitely giving us a run for our money today. Yeah, we got into sledge. We were pushing it a little bit hard. Uh, my This front tire got underneath a rock, wedged under, and bam, snapped the U-joint. Kind of quick. It, it was really quick. I, it must have been stressed. Yeah. 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 So um, anyways, we uh, ended up hiking down to the pit and uh, getting parts and hauling them back Meanwhile, up. Meanwhile, we get there and Jamie is perched up on our tire, yeah. deciding to drive around us, which, you know, I'm, that's fair. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, we were in the way, yeah. so it was, it was cool. And uh, yeah, we, we He made up, it around us and the other two guys elected not to. Not to. It was just, yeah, it was, it was too much. 